Hello everyone and very welcome to the channel. If you are looking to protect your personally identifiable information or PII, then have a look at this just 280 million small encoder open model, which is called as Piranha version 1. This model is for PII detection and that's about it. This model supports six languages with near perfection detection released under MIT license. We will be installing it locally in our notebook environment and then we will see how it works. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Having said that, this model detects 17 types of personally identifiable information across 6 languages. Plus, its token detection rate is 98.27% which is really really amazing. What it means is uh, that the precision is more than 98%. So 98% of tokens classified as PII are actually PII. Also its recall rate is 98.27%. It means that it correctly identifies 98.27% of PII tokens. Also thirdly, its specificity is 99.84%, which means that it correctly identifies 99.84% uh, of non-PII tokens. So this model Piranha is uh, especially accurate at detecting passwords, emails 100%, phone numbers and usernames. It's a fine-tuned version of Microsoft's MDBerta v3 base. Its context length is 256 DBerta tokens. So if your text is longer than that, you can simply just split it up. Supported languages are English, Spanish, French, German, Italian and Dutch. And if the uh, personally identifiable information types supported are account number, building number, city, credit card number, date of birth, driver's license, email, first name, last name, ID card, password, social security number, street address, text number, phone number, username and zip code. Also they have shared a bit of a benchmarking information on their model card and I am going to drop the link to it in video's description. So let's go and try to get it installed locally. So if I open my terminal, I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 courtesy masked compute with 48 GPU of VRAM. You don't need a GPU for this model because it is just 280 million. You can run it on flatbread if you even don't have CPU. So let me clear the screen. Let me create a virtual environment. I'm just calling it PII. Let's wait for it to get created. And the Conda environment is created. Next up, let's install Torch and Transformers. Let's wait for them to get installed. And this is done. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's launch the Jupyter Notebook and we will play around with this model in the browser environment. So our notebook is launched. Let me paste the code here. So this is from the notebook and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Now, it's a very simple code. All it is doing is it is just importing the libraries which we have just installed, the torch and transformer. It is specifying the model name and tokenizer. It is a Piranha version 1 detect uh, model which I just uh, gave you the description about. We are putting it on our GPU if there is a GPU otherwise it is going to run on CPU. And then this is a function which is optional. So whatever personally identifiable information model is detecting you can use this function to mask it or redact it so that it won't be visible to the user. So it is just getting the tokenizer, it is calling the model, it is encoding it and then it is reducting it. Just simply checking if the PI type is available and then it is just masking it. It's a very cool function if you even want to use it in other um, applications. So and then this is a function to just apply that reduction or masking on that. PII information. So let me run it. So you can see that it has downloaded the model. It's a very small model, very quick. The size is just over 1.1 uh, 1 gig. 
and now let's see how can we use it so in order to use it let's check out this example text so in this example text we are specifying a name then address and then phone number which is of course a personally identifiable information you can identify a person with it and then there are two ways of using this model either through aggregated reduction or detailed reduction where this will tell you exactly what that uh, PII is and then this is just going to redact it so let me run it and there you go so it's very quick you see that what it has done is in this one it has redacted that name like ob nobi and then also the address has been redacted and then phone number is also redacted whereas in the detail reduction it is telling us what exactly has been redacted given name surname building city street and telephone number so if you are just trying to see what exactly this value is it is a surname which has been redacted now let's try out another example so in this example test uh, text i'm just uh, talking about this dr emily j chen works at this address and then some of the other stuff around email phone number and then um, where she specializes so let me run this one so there you go how quick it is so again you see it has redacted all the of the stuff and the interesting thing is that apartment number because that doesn't matter really but rest of the address has been redacted it could be any apartment so it's very intelligent and then it has also uh, told us about the detailed reduction here good stuff you see you can just simply even use it in your uh, monitoring tool to see how correct that is now in another example let's try to give another uh, bit of a hard task to the model now in this example this is quite ambiguous so if you read through it i'm saying my friend john smith is a huge fan of john mayer and loves listening to his song waiting on the world to change on spotify john smith's birthday is this now john smith is a person right a private person whereas john mayer is a public figure and his information like songs and stuff is not really uh, some sort of secret or sensitive information so model has to differentiate between both of these johnses so let's see if model is able to do it or not let me run it there you go so it says my friend john smith is a huge fan of john mayer and loves listening to his song this john smith's birthday is redacted so which is quite good so it has been able to differentiate between both johnses and then it has also given us this information so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it really uh, impressive model i would say really a lot of uh, use cases where it can be used especially in the cyber security i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching